All right, well, here's a quick demo of the social IT stuff in ServiceNow.com and also the user interface improvements that will be coming later this summer. So here I'm actually looking at more of a, a customer front end or an end user interface uh, that allows them to interact with the IT department. And from here, a pretty familiar type of scenario, I can, I can simply chat with, with the help desk. So if I have an issue, I can tell them, you know, hey, uh, SAP looks like it's down. Right, we'll get a, a response back from the system automatically with a, you know, thanks for submitting. Uh, you're currently this position in a queue, and it's going to take about this long to get to you. That's all dynamically calculated. On the other side of the, the fence, uh, a technician would be monitoring their, their chat desktop. And so here I can see I've got a queue of, of chat requests coming in, and I can simply answer this chat request and communicate with the user. So I can ask questions like, uh, you know, which client are you using? Is it, the, uh, is it the web or is it the desktop? And capture information that's needed to you know, assess, hey, is this just a, maybe a question the user has, or is this truly some type of issue or incident, as we would call it in ITIL, that needs to be resolved? If it's the latter, then right from the chat, I can go ahead and create an incident record in ServiceNow's incident application. Um, that link is posted back to the end user, and I can click out to this incident to now, as a technician, continue resolving the issue. So I might go ahead and do some triaging here, figure out what the, uh, the root of the problem is, and perhaps we realize that truly this SAP system is down. So this is, this is a critical incident. And I can, uh, I can also see all the chat activity here oh, right. in so the this, incident. Those, the, the chat is linked to this ticket. Okay. Yeah, so all the context is now included in this single incident document. And so I'll go ahead and just save those updates. What we commonly find at this point in, in big organizations is that someone goes and, and, and spins up a bridge phone number, right? And, and half dozen or dozen people dial into this conference call, and they're, they're communicating about resolving this, this priority one incident. But uh, it's challenging because as someone joins the call late, now we have to reiterate what was already said, and so we spend a lot of time bringing up uh, individuals with the status. Instead, why don't we just create a chat room? So right from the context of the incident, I can create a new room. I can automatically invite people that are perhaps from the group I've assigned to, to resolve the issue or select individuals out of, out of the user list and create this room. They'll get emails inviting them to the room, or I can just post them this URL. And then the room here will allow us to all join into a cohesive conversation. I can scroll up, scroll down as uh, updates are made to the resolution of the incident. And this is, this is all, I mean, you're full screen mode here, but this is all in a web browser essentially, right? Yeah, we are entirely browser um, capable. We're agnostic to, I'm using Chrome on a Mac. We don't care what browser you use. There's no plugins or any kind of... Uh, uh, controls that need to be uh, that needs to be brought in. I think everybody gets chat. It's a natural progression for the help desk and the service desk to have this capability at their fingertips. Another um, application here that is very social in nature is this concept of what we call live feed, and this is uh, this is very much lifted from a Facebook type of interface, from Twitter types of Twitter falls for information. And so here you can see, in fact, some folks were, we just finished up the keynote, as you said. Some folks took some pictures of that keynote as it was occurring. So very collaborative. I can. Uh, someone might take a picture of the SAP server that's down. Yeah, that would be sad. But <laughs> someone, might, someone might do that. Hopefully smoke wasn't rolling out of it. Um, and, and just like social applications I'm sure everyone's used before, I can, I can participate in this conversation dynamically. I can like something. I can tag it so that I can quickly search for, for information later. I can obviously uh, reply, uh, reply to the post here. We rolled this out internally at, at ServiceNow a couple of months ago. And uh, I'll be honest, I was astounded at the adoption we saw throughout our company. Um, we're, we're still a small company today, but growing extremely fast. And so the ability for our global employees to communicate and ask questions and have access to information as they're ramping up in the company feed has just been stunning to me. It's also amazing to see um, just by putting this into a social opt-in kind of flow, how interactive people become. If uh, someone asked you a question on email, you'd probably ignore it. Right. But something about the rewarding aspect of participating in this kind of feed um, is, 
was compelling. And and internally, I mean, we kind of can get a sense from looking at the screen. But what what are the types of things people are using this feed for? I mean, like what 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 shows up on this a lot? Well, I, I think that's going to be interesting to see over time. You know, I, I see sort of two divides. There there are some organizations like like ours where we're truly using this as a corporate uh, collaboration tool. So. There are systems like Yammer, for example. It's very much a Facebook within the corporate firewall. And I think we would be a great solution um, in that space. Additionally, I have organizations that focus very specifically on IT. So really, maybe IT are the only folks that are exchanging information here. Great way for them to communicate collaboratively. Um, and as you see here, you know, the, the incident that I just created about SAP being out automatically posted to the wall to alert anyone in the audience that, hey, this system's down. We already know about it. You don't need to call us. And as I said, I can just follow this document so that I'll see updates to its resolution. So it becomes another kind of communication mechanism rather than having to use email as the only way to speak. Uh, to it's sort of, sort of a, a virtual I way. It's sort of a virtual way to do uh, management by walking around, essentially. Right. Sort of seeing what's happening. Right. With all your robots posting to it and your, and your actual people. Yeah, any type of, of document can post. So, uh, you know, if a, uh, if a business service, for example, was going to be upgraded or had a planned outage, I can have that post uh, to the wall as well. So it's, it's exciting for us as we've just recently released this technology to see the adoption and how people use it uh, within the enterprise. And then just lastly, I would uh, focus maybe a little bit on the, the UI enhancements that we've, we've, been, we've been making. So, you know, here's an example of bring the menu back out. And here's an example of a typical screen in ServiceNow. You've got this huge queue of, of records, of data. And you know, we provide you some nice little features where you can, and you can hover these records to get a snapshot without having to leave the, the list context. But with huge resolutions, you, just, you have a lot of wasted space. So we introduced the notion of a split. So now you can uh, split the pane and get more real estate. I can navigate still through this uh, list move these sliders around. I can do this vertically as well. All right. And then, um, again, it's all about real estate. You can collapse the header. We had this, uh, this navigator out here previously. And as I mentioned, you know, this thing just starts to get a bit unwieldy as you get more and more you know, links. And so I can now come in and say, you know, hey, I do change management. Uh, I want to have at a single click, a, a report or an overview available to me. I can just click anywhere and drag that to this left pane that we just introduced, very much inspired by uh, the Rock Melt browser or Asana. Um, so now I can click on this and, and drill out to that detail so I can get rid of my split. Yeah, you can like save your setup, if you will. That's yeah, and to look at. virtually anything can be dragged out to this pane, including you know filters and reports. Uh, live feed's a great example. And not only can they drive the main browser area here, but I can do something called a flyout, which allows me to leave the context in the background untouched and yet have access to data that's relevant. So for example, if I'm very frequently working on that critical incident, I can just fly that out, um, make updates to it, click off of it, and continue doing the rest of my work. You, you've, you've somehow managed to uh, create nice looking dashboards without saying the word dashboard. Yeah, right. <laughs> Right, and then the, uh, the nav just goes away. We're going to be uh, uh, completing some development on more of these panels or edges uh, throughout the application set. So we'll have a, an edge on the right-hand side of the browser, which has all of your chat contacts and your buddy lists. Yeah. Uh, so we, we think this is a very compelling way to have your workspace front and center and all of the cursory information that you need a single click away. So, so also learning from the consumer space, so the, the very sort of little buttons on the edge are those things that other people could contribute, or is there sort of plugins that people might be able to add? Or yeah, you can create. Um, so, for example, this navigation. Really, anything you see in the application is editable. So, if you wanted to create new types of documents that you then post here, that absolutely could be extended. Yeah, so you can allow the uh, the ServiceNow community to kind of come up with fun little widgets. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> if you will. All right. Well, that was a that was a nice quick demo of the uh, the new stuff that you guys have there. That's great. Thanks thanks for spending all this time. All right. Thank you very much.